Yes, people. Well, we're not turned up. Well, nicer. But yeah, we're happy days on that front. I've just swapped out this stainless bleed nipple as well for a normal steel one. Just weren't happy with it. I'm not happy with the brakes full stop, but you know, that's another story. Uh, today's jobs. Got a new ashtray. Look at this belter. Yeah. So, probably want to give it a clean first. But yeah, I've got that. Yeah, this is the one out of my car. Bit roasted, isn't it? Wow, <laughs> some action that. <laughs> Look at this fucking worn out. We've got a nice freshie. I'll have to try not to stub any cigs out of it. Yeah, it's had the old amplifier button screwed in the back of it. Yeah, <laughs> bit roaster that one. Oh, it's toast. So not a bad mod. Don't even think carts come with ashtrays anymore, do they? Kind of chickening out of this. This accumulator ball. Well, I can't find my Allen key either. That Allen key I had the other day in that last video. I can't find it. Yeah, what a Wallington. But yeah, so I think job today. Get the car back on the ground. See what these coil leaves are looking like. Finish off screwing the caliper back on. This one's still on the deck. I'm going to fit the nut, you see, before I put the caliper on. And a new one of them uh, split pins for that there. Because that's... Yeah, I took the other one away. It was rotten. Bought some brake fluid as well. I think they've over-engineered the uh, packaging. Zip ties and all. I'll open from the bottom, thanks. Same stuff. I think you get two for about 12 quid. It's not bad. Especially the way I tip through it. I just found the old Allen key then. To be fair, it doesn't look very hard. Not sure how, how easy this ball would come off. If I could get like a budge on it, I could start then draining the system down perhaps and, and realistically having a look at it. I've never even tried budging it or out once. Could be opening up a whole can of worms or anything here. Not sure whether to proceed. It's all right, pulling a spur once a bit on a bench, you know, but it's a different story when it's on your car. Well, we've got the Allen key. What was I saying before? Coilers first, get it on the floor. While it's in the air, we could be doing this coolant bottle as well. I've got a coolant bottle here. I, I mean, I'm happy with a metal one. They do, well, I won't be 100% happy, I don't want to be changing it. I just want to, because you can't see the level of the fluid. I won't mind filling it and seeing what happen, actually happens to the level of the car, whether the fluid will go up or down or stay where it is, because the way it is, you just don't know, you're forever guessing. And the only way to check is just to undo the cap and it's a bit of a, a, a pain. Yeah, you can get fancy alloy ones with sight glass and all that, but they're, they're a bit like blingy and they're a bit expensive. So, it's a bit rotten inside though. Yeah, see here, it's got all that funny colour on it. I know I'm being a bit pussy. <laughs> might be able to clean, we might be able to clean some of that off. Oh, we've got a big pinky there. Yeah, we're covered for coolant. Oh, I'm not sure whether this has got blue or red in it. This is what I mean. If I had a see through tank, I'd be able to know now. I'd be like, yes, lad, my level's there. It's pink, pink, pink fluid. Pink fluid. Balls to the brakes for now. Let's get the wheels back on. Just not nasty split pins really, got them in a set for about a centre, like a variety pack. Yeah, you're probably better off with another pair of pliers, but... Keeps Mr MOT happy and keeps you safe as well. Yeah, 
they're only pinch bolts then. The discs are in a right state. I've left them in a bad place there. I've left it there, what, a week? Nice bleed nipple. I mean, I'm not happy with it. I'm going to change it for a steel one. Also, I only gravity bled them, didn't I? So, I might pressure bleed them. Never be too sure, can you? And it won't hurt, will it? Ten minutes while we're in this state now. Or a whole world of trouble when you're in the back of someone's bleeding car. We've got both fancy freeze anyway, if we want to do that coolant tank. Just fill her up with a bit of brake clean. I've got a rag on the end of a plexi. I'll have to get creative with a scrubber. It's coming off. Oh shit. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's coming off. Just, just keep on to keep adjusting it. There's going to be a little bit that I can't get, surely. It's working though. Check her out. Fucking well cleaner. The more I've cleaned it though, can you see a stripe on it there? I can live with that. Oh, seven milli. Great success. A couple of three screws now. Two on the head of tank there and one at the top of the wing gear. It's not hard to find them, is it? Um, <laughs> it is. Just got two jubilees to do. Bottom, top. Can do them while it's well, it's draining. On dry, good stuff. Might have a better one knocking about, actually. Sure, I had two or three of these. It's just like, you know what that balloon bit is there? It's just not, not the best, is it? Anyway, <laughs> that was a fun dude. I mean, I'll have to go and get another 10 mil. Yeah. Hold on, I'll go and get another 10 mil. It's gonna look a bit scruffy, isn't it? But so you've got loads of crazing on it here. Bit round the top, so a bit of pressure in that, it might explode. Like right, it's only a trial runner. What was that? Two bolts and two poses. If it isn't homemade, it's not a bad copy. Just gonna fill in the bung here. I'm not real I'm not gonna run a coolant sensor. I've not been running one on the aluminium tank, so I'm not gonna bother now. The wiring's there for it. I think it's this red one here. That would have been your coolant sensor. But my coolant sensor's gonna be my eyes. No point doing it, so I can see the fluid. Oh, I'll be watching it, all right. So I need a bulb on the dash. Well, hope I don't have to eat my words. Hold on. Not sure what to do with the coolant, whether to pour it in a watering can or just pour it from the bucket into there. 
probably that rough putting it in a watering can. See what I mean? Butter fingers. Yeah, we know why there was a bulge in the hose now. Because of the nipple. <laughs> Big fat nipples. Last week it was wet nipples. This week, bulging nipples. Yeah, I'm going to play it safe. I think I fill the watering can. This might not be pretty. Whoa. What's going on? Oh shit, the fucking watering can's full. Oh, I was priding myself that on how much I haven't spilled. <laughs> Uh, I need to do my litres. I'm going to have to decamp some out the watering can back into there because that's just going to spew out, isn't it? Spew out. Yeah, I may as well film this, so it's going to go peak tongue, innit? Whoa. Oh, look at him. Whoa, 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 keep your mouth shut. Round two. We've got a drop on the floor, we're not that far off here. If anything, after turning it over, I might have to suck a 500 mil out. Yes, people. Well, the <laughs> tank isn't what I was really expecting. I thought it was going to be see through and bright pink and all this, but. Just a dull, a dull ill colour. It's actually not old fluid, or else I'd change it for that tub there. I'm not being tight. I've got, I've got, I've got more than enough to go round. It's just, I don't know. But yeah, it's not the desired effect. I can see the water. I think that header tank, the the alley one there, that black one. All this has spilt here on floor. It's not even down to level so it must have a little bit more capacity like another litre or something other than that we need to get this puppy on the floor that's how we drove it again we have a nipple check <laughs> let me get the light on wet nipple check change this one for a steel one it's the best it's been I don't have to look at that one, it's always been bone dry for a while. I'm happy enough with that. We are going to have to undo this today though, because we're going to pressure bleed in the mo. I've got one dilemma though. Oh, I've done with a cap. Took it off to clean it. And I went in for my tea. Never fit the bonnet that was meant to fit. Oh, here it is, here it is. The ashtrays. That's the result. Gonna top this rascal up first. Yeah, I do it like that, I reckon. I've been messing them out. Oh, must drop the bleeding bottle. Let's try not to spill any of this fluid. Uh, do away with that for a moment. Roll in with Easy Bleed. One man band. Meant to fill a bottle up as well, but I don't. Whether that's wrong, you make your own judgment. Works for me. No more than 20 psi in this. Not very well, am I? Start, start with the one furthest away. Just a buxom bottle with a pipe. See if we get any bubbles. Perhaps I should put the ignition on as well. No air bubbles. Oh yes, yeah, see them. Only a couple, but I'm going to find the key to the ignition. The pumps just ran for the jump pack. I 
Oh, still a little bit of bubbles. Just pump the pedal a couple of times. More bubbles, more bubbles, more bubbles. So it just shows, doesn't it? That gravity bleed. It's not a massive amount, but I didn't even think as many as that come out. That's flowing now, that. Yeah, that's flowing. Whoa, it's spurting. <laughs> oh, jeez, wheeze. I've changed the stainless bleed nipple out for another steel one. A bit of that old montage brake clean. Right, I'm gonna go make a coffee. Uh, I know like it's a pretty, pretty crucial stage of the game this, but man needs his coffee. Got a little, little bleed nipple on this one. Bit of an annoyer, but see if we get any air out of this side. There's a few little pinholes, but nothing. I wouldn't say there's anything really bad there. Not too bad. That's with 20 psi running through it. Maybe 18 now. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll roll with that. Yeah, so we've got a few air bubbles. Pressure bleeding way forward. Smash these last two. Oh, 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 got a lot going out of it. Pinholes, loads of little pinhole bubbles. Loads of little pinholes. I think we can uh, safely say that one's bled. Well, oh, I freaking hate it when it does that. Crack it off there. That's a bit of rubbish. Can't see any bubbles. If I do that, I might not get the splash. <laughs> Not rocket science. <laughs> Truth has to be on the driving it and hit the brakes. 17 psi in. Don't think we've got any leaking out. So I'll just keep my eye on them rascals. Top up my fluid.
See, I don't run any fluid in the bottle. I don't know if that's bad or, or good. I never needed to. Where's my box? Over here. Do fit in them brake lines, really. Wheels on time. In fact, wheel clean time. I've cleaned one. Yeah, they're all topped up. Just plug your plugs back in. Probably about on the line just for the cars. Up in the air, innit? Oh, I didn't think of that. <laughs> Trying to get my levels right. The front end's right in the air. I can always suck a bit out. A turkey baster. Oh, Shabba. Very tight, the room there. Got all our tools, and then move them out. There's anything else we need to do underneath it at the front while it's in the air we'll have to catch it on the next wave we haven't got time now this is it we're gonna lower it Too much oil leaks. At least you know you've got oil in it. <laughs> oh, where's that coming from? Oh, rear main seal. Rear main seal. Oh, definitely not a place where you want to be. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I've already got one car off the road, I don't need two. two. I've got two cars off the road, my van's off the road as well. My escort's in getting welded. Oh, it's an engine out job with that, innit? Looks like it's leaking out the gearbox. Oh. Yeah, what a pain in the arse these Cosworths are, keeping them maintained. It's not happening today. It's not happening today. Oh my god. Yeah, that's what you're up against with 40 year old cars, 37 year old cars. Oh. Not a nice thing to find, is it? Well, moving swiftly on. Oh, what a heartbreaker. What a heartbreaker. Not really the best time to start turning the boost up, is it? Let's have a look. Ooh. She down. Just have enough left to kick her in the guts. <laughs> Bit rattly. I'm like a flipping skeleton, I'm the one. It's looking good. Brake fluid's just a little bit over. Yeah, overall. Well, 
got to tighten up the wheels yet. But I'll have to get that. not to get it out now will it real shame not test the actuator yet hope the window doesn't fall out and see if we're leaking any coolant oh i'm checking if the brakes work <laughs> yeah yeah that's some shakedown that there's a few jobs we've done good few jobs yes people we're out in it oh can it be saved a front wiper motor snaps a stud in couple of weeks back it's quite a clean break so we'll give it a whirl start with my centre punch try and get a bit of a divot in it central bust it up with a buzz gun and that was it because snap broke my heart yes lad back on the special cutting fluid he's never asked for it back the lad bless him it's a big 600 mil can as well. No wonder it was expensive. Made in Germany. Yeah, it's probably probably up there. Oh, look at these other little things you can get in the range at the bottom at 50 litres. Wow. Must be doing some cutting to buy 50 litres. Not sure how well we're going to do because uh, second, uh, yeah, second out in for that drill bit. Yeah, that drill bit, it, the rewind one, it's pretty gash. It's not very good, let's just say that. Yes, mate? Hi, uh, how you doing, you right? Yeah, all good, yeah, man. All right. Yeah, they're probably good for one go, them other drill bits. I mean, God damn it, didn't half do a good job on that master cylinder for the sake of what? I think they were like 11 quid. And there's still a couple to go at, some bigger ones. So yeah, well paid for itself that set. Even if, even though I only got one go out of it. Let's drill. Ooh, got a bit of a wobble on. What's going on there? Is it bent? It's drill bit bent. How's it bent? It's got a wobble on. Oh my, how the freaking hell has it bent? Yeah, me one's a toast to be fair. It's gone in a bit, but I might have to just dial straight up a bit. Not got much of a nada, absolutely nada. Bits are well blunt. Maybe the drill bits are tossed, but yeah, it's tough, tough going. Not much battery on my drill. Sure how you'll get it, but let's go. It's actually raining the day you get it out. Nice. Not mint. Better 
you know, so you're looking undercover car that on it. Oh, right. It's gonna be cute now. Jesus, another undercover's just blazed past, like a 4x4 four four thing. Well, wipers are good. Don't have to do it in the side of the rubber on the window. Brakes are good. Yeah, brakes are mint, compared to what they were. That's how it sits after uh, 20 turns. Probably get it a lot lower, but... I'm not too, too fussed. I think it looks all right. Yeah, I think it's all right, that. Nice bit of rust on the door there. It's also a bit of a weight reduction grill as well. Not made my mind up on my bleeding uh, windscreen yet. Oh, I've made my mind up. I definitely want one. I need one. It's just flipping fine being a decent one. That hopefully isn't in Leeds. That maybe if someone could fit one for £200, oh, I'd be so happy. If I have to go and buy one for 150 or whatever they are and fit it myself, so be it. But I'm not I'm not looking forward to that sort of job. I'd need a, a serious power mastic gun and maybe someone else to help me put the window in. Yeah, it's a professional job. I learnt my lesson with that back window. Yesterday, you got little dog was on about last week. Funny little thing, aren't you? What's up with you? Oh, oh, don't start barking again. Right, I may as well do a bit of drilling while it's quiet. Well, if we've got the kit, it's a bit of a, a lucky dip box. This, I don't know what's in it, I don't know. You can see, oh, there's a snapped one. That looks like a two mil, doesn't it? Probably blunt as a nun's chuff, but <laughs> yeah, we can have a look. Oh, I think there's like wood bits and steel bits. There's a bit of a, like, that's why I call it lucky dip. Let's get drillings. Yon Mon's fluid again. He's a good lad, isn't he? Leave him with all this 600 mil fluid. Uh, battery's charged on the drill. We're pretty much ready to rock and roll here. Just pick the first one up, random, two mil. That other packet, it's the first ever packet of reverse style drill bits I've ever bought. So all these are gonna be, I don't know if this terminology or not, but regular drill bits. It's got a bit of fluid in it. Should we put a bit of freshie in it? Can't beat a bit of freshie. I think it like does something when it gets hot. First drill bit, no, nada, that's gash. Gotten a bit of swarf. 
pretty cool the way this fluid does its stuff. It all like congeals. This is it, make or break. It's gone tight. You can see the swarf that's come out. No, it's just it's just spun on it. It's not gripping enough. Oh, that was close that. God damn. Yeah, I'll have to uh, give it some more drillage. That's a bummer, isn't it? You're allowed to say bummer. <laughs> You're allowed to say that. Finally, finally. God. Whoa, don't want to snap my drill bit. That took some doing that. Holy smoke. Bye, crumber. Maybe go for this last one. While it's quiet. Oh, that skips. I'm going to have to use two hands for this. I'm just going through my drill bits now. I've got like, I don't know, six crap ones. Just bored out of a, a snap one that was sharp. Just getting me, me sense of bore on it. So drill bits on fire. Look at all that swarf. Instead of messing about, I'm going to try and drill right through it again. Jesus, we're not through it yet. My dilemma now is I can't get this first stud off the easy out. Yeah, I'm pretty stuck on it. I need pliers, I had this trouble the other day, didn't I? I just put it in the chuck of my drill. And then out it comes. A bit gnarled. Let's hope we can use it again. Yeah, shout out to the Milwaukee drill. That's that bolt I drilled out. That's almost precision engineering, isn't it? Freehand with dodgy drill bits. Seriously, don't know about this one, but we can give it a shot. It's not having it this time. Banners gash. Don't think it wants to come out that. Keep spinning the spanner. We've got to the maximum ability of our tool here. It's not the right tool for the job. Oh, I can't believe it's leaving us on this cliffhanger like this. What a swine. We need a better tool. The, the spanner, as you can see, it's the old one that's left in the cabin to fix the fences with. It's, uh, yeah, it's absolutely naff. What should I do? What should I do? I think there's a thing that you go on the end like it's like a square i'm sure you know like when you tap and die set you come with a, a bar that tightens on i think it i think you're meant to use one of them really yeah we could give this one a boil but i've not much confidence in these bits if i did get them tight i've used one like this before and it just flipping snapped blue skies anyway for the way home this camera this 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 mount this phone mounts bouncing everywhere <laughs> 